Virgo, hi. I'm gonna do your uh, October reading here. So, as I was doing a little bit of meditation on you guys, um, kind of felt like more, uh, you know, finances mixed with travel. So it was interesting. So I don't know if, um, you know, maybe you put in a lot of work and you're starting to look at some sort of quick vacation here before the holidays, something like that. So, um, or maybe, you know, road trips or something to where you're, you're getting clear minded on a certain situation, or maybe you've been thinking about something to where you need a little bit of a getaway, maybe even a weekend getaway or something like that. So let's see what comes out for you guys, um, for the month of October. So we have Page of Wands. So that's your base energy, having fun. Um, you know, again, like we just said, going out, having a good time, maybe, you know, getting away and uh, and uh, just enjoying, um, enjoying the outdoors or, um, you know, something here. So let's see what's blocking you. Ah, three of, three of Swords. So, you know, maybe you're coming out of a heartbreak or maybe the person that, um, you know, you're dealing with is coming out of a heartbreak. Um, but it feels like more, you know, maybe tied to you. Maybe you've been, um, you know, in some sort of partnership relationship here where things didn't work out and you're kind of looking at different avenues and you're kind of getting over a heartbreak. So um, let's see what else is going on. Interesting. So and that's why you kind of feel like kind of breaking free here and just uh, doing your own thing for a little bit. Uh, next card that comes out, we have... Transformation, Scorpio energy, uh, you know, you could be dealing with the water sign Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. But transformation, it's ending and and uh, beginning something new. So maybe you're looking at, you know, new things, uh, new relationship, new friends, uh, you know, new you. Maybe you're hitting the gym, um, you know, stuff like that. Just something new. You're kind of done with the old stuff here. So you had death and rebirth and justice so yeah you, you're you're wanting fairness in a situation you're balancing the scales uh maybe uh something in the past was very unfair to you it could be a work relationship or a relationship um yeah so you know somebody may have uh put you in this uh three of swords energy and you know you're gonna get justice from this so so either you know they hurt you or maybe betrayed you or something like that and you're you're kind of um you're going to get something out of it, but I don't know if you're going to even know about it. So it's one of those things where, you know, a spirit is going to, the universe is going to take over and just kind of take care of whatever happened to you, but you, you're not going to know anything about it. It's going to be happening in the background, you know? So, uh, get a couple more cards and then maybe a potential outcome. So eight of pentacles, you're going to be stacking up on money, maybe in your job working, um, potential outcome. We have the hierophant. So Working on yourself, uh, being happy, kind of learning to be uh, by yourself and being happy. I guess that's kind of what I'm trying to say. So, um, you know, e either it's going out for a drive or, you know, um, you don't have a tendency of overthinking. So maybe you're just kind of in your head. Should I do this? Should I do that? You know, the next the night before you're, you've already made a plan to do it. And then the next morning you wake up, you're like, ah, I'll do it tomorrow. You know, that type of energy. But I kind of feel like you're kind of getting out of that now. Um, Kind of getting into that was a king of pentacles that wanted to shoot out if it does come out again i'll take it but uh getting into the energy of just kind of like having fun by yourself um you know being alone um you know something like that so even the eight of pentacles she's she's working but she's she's alone there's no one else there they're you know looking at your finances looking at work and everything like that but there's no one else there you're just quietly doing your own your own stuff so um, let's see your current feels right now. We know you had three of swords, but let's see what's going on right now. You're looking, you're looking for something new. You're looking for some sort of, um, it could be a water sign that you're thinking about, um, or, you know, what is it? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, uh, wanting to start something new with somebody. You know, there's someone on your mind here that you've been thinking about, uh, wanting to build a relationship with, uh, you know, heavily thinking about a water sign. Uh, and wanting to start something new. I don't know why I'm getting really sometimes I don't care for the for the signs and stuff But I really feel water sign here. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with the water sign, but it's kind of what I feel here What's your environment right now? The star so 
you know, wishful thinking. It could be an Aquarius, but um, or maybe you have an Aquarius friend that you're really talking to about the situations and stuff like that. But, you know, this is your environment. You're just daydreaming, kind of, kind of, uh, you know, put a wish out there and you're waiting for the return. You know, if you manifested something, you're waiting to see that, you know, come through here. You haven't seen it yet. Again, your mind right now is relationship and, you know, passion, you know, love and, you know, relation, you know, just being together with somebody, a partnership. So um, that's kind of what your 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 mindset is right now. So let's get two more cards out and then I'll get some clarifiers. Nine of Pentacles and potential outcome you have. I don't know if you're investing or looking at money. Maybe just, you know, there's a lot of thinking of investing. So maybe just like, could be stocks, it could be property, you know, it's, it could be a lot of different things, but a lot of um, a lot of thinking about investing. That's that's what I'm getting. Um, not investing yet, but a lot of future future thoughts of how you want your money to start start happening. You kind of want to invest into things to where it works for you, and you kind of have that lifestyle of you know hanging back, money's coming in, traveling, um, you know, having a good time. Um, with yourself really learning yourself too that's kind of the feeling i'm getting potential outcome you will have victory so um whatever it is money relationship you know if you're looking for a relationship here um again a water sign doesn't have to be but if you're looking for a relationship it's coming you know things are coming your way but you're kind of being advised to kind of work on yourself right now um you know you've been through some sort of heartbreak or uh you know again take what resonates here energies could be flip-flop but you've been kind of working on that um being asked to kind of work on yourself you know getting rid of the old you and starting the new you um and then this starts coming in you know you can't just it's not like one of those things where you get a heartbreak and then all of a sudden someone walks in and saves the day you're not you're not healed you know so it's not going to happen um so you gotta work on yourself go hit the gym go you know go within nature go for a walk go to the park uh, go fishing i don't know go for a bike ride uh, i don't know where you, where you guys are at but uh, if you're like, like in california like me uh, go hit the coast uh, you know go fishing um, you know go take a walk in you know some open area and just kind of get in touch with with everything right now so you know get find out it's like one of those things where you kind of go for a walk or something like that then boom uh, you get to some sort of idea or uh, something pops in your head about, you know, investing into something, um, you know, and, and then things start kind of moving forward for you. And then maybe when you do start investing or maybe looking at your pinnacles, your money and stuff like that, this kind of starts coming in for you. So it's kind of one of those domino effects. Um, but it's not going to happen if you're just kind of chilling, sitting there, you know, it's not going to happen. Being advised to kind of get up and just get outside so even if you're walking around the block around your house really is just i don't know why i gotta say this but it feels like just getting outside is is very very heavy here someone someone's been kind of inside quite a bit i'm gonna take this one because it wanted to pop out yeah so four of cups you're really looking back at um past relationships or past situations or you know work or relationship whatever take what resonates but you're looking back you're not too you know you, you may want to act like you're happy or something like that, but you're really like inside going, you know, you kind of wish those things were the way they were. But again, the universe is pushing you to start new things and it's going to be good. Don't be afraid about it. Um, it is like a sucky feeling in the beginning where you're just kind of like, there's a lot of unknown and a lot of, you know, people take leaps of faith and leap of faith. Woo, can't even talk. Okay. When people do that, you know, it's a very difficult um thing to do i mean no one not everyone can do that you know it's easy to say it you know it's you know i'm with experience i've done it quite a bit but um you know the first time doing it it's like you're you're in a really position where you feel like there's no support you feel like really alone and everything so um you know you really look back at how things used to be and you you're not really seeing how how it can be you know and then um that's one of the things that you really have to keep in mind that it's it's a good thing uh, the universe kind of puts you in good positions. You just have to kind of like go with your gut, use your intuition, and uh, and make those moves. So let me give a couple of advice cards here. I don't know, it's kind of like an advice, but let's see. Yeah, Five of Wands. You know, Five of Wands is typically a conflict one, but in this reading, I kind of feel like you have support. 
there's there's a small group of friends that that you can trust that will support you through this journey um, so you know if you're going um, you know getting from a heartbreak or maybe a disappointment uh, it doesn't have to always be a relationship heartbreak or anything it could be just you know, a friendship went bad or something like that uh, you know and you're thinking about the fact you have support you have people you can talk to uh, they're, they're supporting you to to move forward so if you, if you let your friends kind of like um, give some advice or maybe you just you want to you want someone to hear you out you know just give them a call and and uh, let them let them hear you out and you know if they give advice they give advice i mean ultimately at the end of the day you need to make your own decision but um but you do have some support there that's good um yeah page of pentacles so this is you know focusing on yourself uh keeping within um you know, just kind of uh, focused on nurturing yourself, really. I mean, it is pentacles, um, but I kind of feel like more, you know, doing your own thing. Kind of, again, he's that, this person's outside, um, you know, with nature. And I've been kind of men mentioning this quite a bit, but, you know, it's just kind of being within, keeping within, you know, um, still ha knowing you have the support and everything, but got to get out there. Got to get out there. Um, yeah, and that's going to bring you Ten of Cups, man. So uh, if you're, you know... Take the steps, go with your gut, transform. You know, if you got to hit the gym, you got to go for a walk, you got to get outside. Um, if you're looking at money, looking at investments, if you're looking for new jobs, you got to get working on yourself. Um, you know, get in tune with, um, with being happy uh, by yourself here. You know, uh, if, if this is like if this is like turning on Netflix and watching a movie for a couple hours, whatever it is, and just mentally being okay, you know, happy, um, you know, and then those things, when you go for a walk, or whatever it is, you will, you'll uh, have this like light bulb moment and you're going to start, you know, really knowing what to do with, with your money. Um, you're going to have success with it. Um, you know, love's going to come in, whatever you wished for, um, you know, all this stuff is coming in for you. So, um, you know, and that's going to bring the Ten of Cups that you're looking at. But you are going through this journey um, on purpose here. So you have to um, work on yourself. You have to just be in tune with yourself, love yourself, you know, and those things first. But I see that happening in October. And I think towards the end of October here, you're kind of going to get your wish and uh, you know, universe is gonna see how much work you put into it, and all of a sudden, this person is just gonna come out of nowhere, uh, person or situation or whatever it is. They're just gonna come out and uh, and surprise you. I mean, it's gonna be one of those where you least expect it situations. Um, you, that's the only way things work sometimes. When you expect it, it's not gonna happen. When you least expect it, you let it go, let the universe take over, and go with the flow. Start doing your thing, getting out, having fun boom, it comes right back in. So um, anyway, this is all I had for you for uh, your reading. If this did resonate, go ahead and hit the like. And um, until next time, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.